Gary Gates had his son Lucas by his side when he got his shot this afternoon at this casino turned vaccination clinic. I want to be protective for my kids because both have special needs, one with uh, Asperger's and one with Down syndrome. So now I feel safer being around other people and then coming home. You have to give credit to the, where credit is due. Every and Lucas yeah, logged on this morning and signed him and his mother up for shots once they're eligible. Well, I feel absolutely fantastic knowing the fact that the, the light at the end of the tunnel is closer. BC launched an online booking system today. Those over 71, along with Indigenous adults and those with certain chronic conditions, can book their shots now. Everyone else can register and will be notified when it's their turn. It was the simplest website I've ever been into. It just was four questions, answered, entered, and that was it. The process much smoother than when the phone system launched last month and many reported spending hours trying to get through. We all become a little bit safer and we will get through this next few months until all of our communities are protected. But not everything is full steam ahead. Essential workers were getting the AstraZeneca vaccine, but that program is paused because of concerns it could be linked to rare blood clots. Instead, those doses are being given to people between the age of 55 and 65, where the risk is believed to be much lower. It's really critical that essential workers get vaccinated, especially when we're looking at the numbers in BC, as I say. And the number of exposure notifications to schools over the long weekend was quite overwhelming. The province is hoping to start vaccinating more essential workers later this month once it receives a shipment of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. BC's goal remains to have everyone eligible receive their first shot by the end of June. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.